So today in this video, we're talking about IOTA. What is it? Have you, want, have you been wondering what's going on with the, the current prices? If you've seen the current market cap lately on uh, current market, uh, uh, bleh, coinmarketcap.com, if you notice it surged way up to fourth place ahead of Ripple yesterday or the past two days, it's went up 124%. So what's going on with IOTA? Why is IOTA surging? IOTA explained in this video. So here we go. First of all, IOTA is way different than any other cryptocurrency, and it's probably what makes it so fascinating. And this is one to really watch long term for the future. It has a lot to offer potentially. The technology is incredible. Let's just kind of go through the website here a little bit, and then I'll go into more detail about what it is. And I'm going to cover the news. First of all, let's talk about why it's going up in value. Let's get to that first. It's going up in value right here because there's a major agreement. What is that agreement? IOTA's price exposed after agreement. Hmm, what is that all about? Let's see. They have an agreement with Microsoft, Fujitsu, and other business -to businesses for data sharing. Their technology allows very for very unique, no cost, low cost, almost no cost data sharing. It really is no cost data sharing when you, it's compared to blockchains. Uh, there, the, this technology is really unique and amazing and could potentially, this technology could be the one uh, that could arise as a primary cryptocurrency in the future. I believe Bitcoin is most likely to be the big dog. But if you were to ask me, okay, Jackie, if it's not Bitcoin, what would it be? I would probably say Ethereum. And if you said, okay, Jackie, it's not Ethereum, what would it be? Then it would definitely be IOTA. Um, and let's talk about that. Let's look at IOTA. What is it all about? So the backbone is here. They got a, their website is a little bit clunky, almost overly futuristic. Um, it's part of the Internet of Things. This is where you have interoperability of sharing of resources. Um, so you're talking about a lot of your smart devices that communicate together. Um, th this is, think of like your, um, your thermostats that communicate with your iPhone, that interface with your Internet, your Wi-Fi, uh, your Bluetooth technology. All of those sort of things are considered the Internet of Things. Well, I would, they call it the economy of things, basically, because it allows those devices that use IOTA's technology to be able to communicate back and forth, to even be able to exchange or buy things from each other back and forth. So imagine that for a moment. That's, that's a little bit crazy. The ledger of things, they call it. So basically, IOTA is, is a decentralized ledger system very similar to blockchain is as far as it, the the function is somewhat similar as far as it's decentralized but it's a very different technology than blockchain so you have some of the same benefits but you have it in a way where transactions can be settled with zero fees so devices can trade exact amounts of resources on demand you know store data from sensors and data loggers securely and verifiably on the ledger so you still have the ability for it to be decentralized devices can communicate and exchange resources or think of it as buy things bargain between each device it's a little bit scary if you think about it in a way um, and they can do it with zero fees because of the technology that is uh, the, the the tangle platform which is the opposite of a not the opposite, but is very different from a blockchain. So the main innovation behind IOTA is the tangle where Bitcoin, it was blockchain. And with Ethereum, it's kind of a programmable blockchain where you can actually run applications off of the Ethereum blockchain. It's a, a revolutionary new blockless distributed ledger, which is scalable, lightweight, and for the first time ever makes it possible to transfer without any fees. So in Bitcoin, fees are typically used currently, fees are used, uh, and, and in every other cryptocurrency, to my knowledge, fees are used in some cases very low fees, but fees go to the miners or proof of stake uh, holders, the masternode holders and proof of stake. Well, Bitcoin is very different. There are no miners. I'm sorry, IOTA is very different. There are no miners. There's no proof of stake or proof of work involved. So contrary to today's blockchains, Consensus is no longer decoupled, but instead an intrinsic part of the system leading to decentralized, self-regulated, peer-to-peer network. So we'll come down here in a minute, and I'm going to show you a diagram of uh, a tangle versus a blockchain here in a moment. That might make a little more sense, but 
right now for the first time ever true micro and even nano transactions are enabled to unique iota tangle so the reason this is important when you come to coin market cap right here and you see iota and it gives you a value of price of three dollars and 92 cents by the way i can remember this when this was down to 51 cents but in fact much lower than that but when you see this this is actually for one million iota they're showing the symbol as iota but it's really m iota one million iota and the reason that it that one million iota is three dollars and ninety two cents is because the idea is the most smallest microscopic transaction can occur inside of the tangle uh, because of the, there's so many of them i mean literally one iota is a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a cent so let's look at what a tangle really is okay I hope you can see this. I hope this comes through on your screen. I found this on an article on Steam, and I want to give a shout out here. This this article was let's see by Elowin here, but this diagram is what's important. So this is your normal blockchain right here, and the way it works is cryptographic problems are mathematical, cryptographic problems are solved, and then one chain goes to the next chain a block reward is created one chain goes to the next chain you know more transactions occur crypto graphic problems exist and then it goes on to the next chain this is kind of how blockchain technology works and i have video three tutorial videos on one of my on my channel that really discuss blockchain technology and, and the decentralized ledger system of blockchain technology However, this requires miners to be in place. This requires things like master nodes in some systems uh, in Ethereum as it goes to a proof of stake concept to be in place. So master nodes and miners have to earn a block reward basically for doing the computations. The way Tangle works is there are no master nodes. There are no miners. Every single transaction basically is its own form of a master node if you will uh, not really but it serves the same purpose so when you actually send a transaction in a tangled network part of sending that transaction part of the mathematic problem mathematical problem that has to occur is you basically confirm two transactions before you on the tangle so if you do a, if, if you're going to send you know a transaction here part of sending your transaction Part of what you have to send is the answer to, you know, this uh, this block and this block. So it creates obviously a non-linear format called a tangle. So there's no money required. Part of you sending a transaction, it's basically the computation of your computer or whatever device you're using. It's your computation power. That's the only power used. And the motivation for you wanting to do that is so you can actually send a transaction. So when you send IOTA, in order to send IOTA, you actually have to confirm the two transactions behind you or two transactions previous before yours. So that's what how that's essentially how it works. And this is, you know, I hope you can see this diagram okay on this video, but that's the biggest difference. So it has much faster transactions, and here's the key: there's no fees. We talked about that. And it's quantum computing proof. So there, there is a theory that one day when quantum compute them in the next three years, 20 years, however long it takes for that technology to catch up, once actual quantum, quantum computing is a real thing, there is some theories that maybe potentially through a brute force attack that the blockchain, you know, people can, they can break into people's wallets and, and, you know, disrupt the blockchain and with bitcoin or ethereum or something like that but with iota that that wouldn't even be possible the way the technology works so it's literally quantum compute, computing proof they're promoting this as like bitcoin 2.0 or basically or cryptocurrency 3.0 they're saying that you know ethereum is 2.0 blockchain technology where you can actually run programs off of the blockchain but they're saying tangle is you know basically cryptocurrency 3.0 um, it doesn't use a blockchain. We already covered that. Here's here's the downside the, to the whole Tangle concept in IOTA for now is that it doesn't have the ability, like I said, to run. You, you can't run a program off of the Tangle. Th there's no way to run apps off the Tangle. Whereas with Ethereum, for example, 
you can run apps and, and smart contracts off of Ethereum. Um, so you don't have that aspect with Tangle. Tangle is very fascinating. This is going to be very, very, very interesting to watch over the next coming couple of years. And, you know, th this technology, this cryptocurrency technology, blockchain technology, I've said for a long time is fascinating, fascinating, fascinating. I mean, Bitcoin's, you know, skyrocketed, skyrocketed. And I expect at some point it's going to pull back and probably pull back strong. But th this whole crypto space, cryptocurrency space, Bitcoin, blockchain technology, IOTA, um, Ethereum, it's all incredible. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this channel. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully you've learned something below. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll do my best to answer your questions. If I don't know the answer, then I will look for the answer. Um, if something was confusing for you or you needed to explain in more detail, please type an answer down below. Let me know what are your thoughts on IOTA? And what do you think is going to reign supreme? IOTA, Ethereum, or Bitcoin? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Click that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon. And please, by all means, give this video a big thumbs up. Have a great night.